Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vital Vlog. Today we're going to be blasting Vancouver, Canada's mighty blasphemy fallen angel of doom, Ross Bay Cult Eternal. This is one of the Nuclear War Now reissues. Limited to 100 copies on red. So fucking good. I love this record. Goddamn classic right here. And speaking of classics, today I want to talk about one of my favorite albums ever and a pure classic of black metal in general. And that is... Bathory The Return. This 1985 monster is just... Wow. And first off, do not mind the cover and the damage and whatnot. I asked for this this way. Well, pretty much I was asked, hey, do you want a copy of Bathory The Return? And I'm like, fuck yeah. And uh, Jason was like, yeah, the cover's pretty beat up, but the record plays perfectly. Like, first press, no popping, no skipping. I was like, fuck yeah. And... In case you didn't know, there's an awesome photograph of the moon, super cold, super grim, super influential, but we're here to talk about these tunes on here, and Bathory The Return, it's crazy to think this is going to be 33 years old, wow. And Combat Records took care of the original US release, while the Euro release was done by Black Mark Productions. May 27th, 1985. This is seriously a piece of black metal history right here. This was one of the original lo-fi first wave black metal records that to me, I feel is probably one of the most evil sounding and influential records ever recorded. While most people were dancing the Cold War away in some fucking shitty disco, to Culture Club or whatever was popular in 1985. You had metalheads, you know, diving into bands like Venom, Hellhammer, Bathory, etc. And with the return, I feel like you have a record that's just, well, it's the return of darkness and evil! It's the return of fire and pain! One of the most influential records when it comes to riffs, vocal delivery, lyrical content, etc, etc. And before Sarcophago, before Bahira, and before Dark Throne, there was Bathory from Sweden doing lo-fi black metal before it really, you know, was called black metal outside of the Venom record. But this right here, riff-wise, song-wise, from Possessed, The Right of Darkness, Reap of Evil, Son of the Damned, Bestial Lust, The Return of Darkness and Evil. Bestial Lust is about some girl that Korthon used to get with that was actually in the bestial sex from what I heard. Do not know how true that is. But also on side evil, you have possessed the right of darkness, reap of evil, son of the... Oh, I already read that. <laughs> but, uh, alright. Side darkness, you have revelation of doom, total destruction, born for burning, the wind of mayhem, and sadist. And also, as you can see, you have side darkness and side evil. Instead of your typical A and B sides, which many, many bands have copied in the years following that release of Bathory the Return. Here's a pure example. You have Side Darkness and Side Impurity. So there's a good example right there, but Bathory the Return. You pretty much have Corthon with two other members, which is sick. I'm pretty sure it was right after Bloodfire Death when he started doing Bathory as a one-man project. I mean, he, he, he is the songwriter and the face of Bathory, but on this recording he also had Stefan Larson on drums, 
and Andreas Johansson on bass and amazing shit. Cordfons on vocals, guitar, wrote all the lyrics, songwriting, etc. Et Rest in peace, Cordfon. He passed away in 2004 because I remember blasting uh, Bloodfire Death all day when I found out he passed. And if you want to see a cool video, check out Watain's, uh They did a whole tribute to uh, Cordfon, and uh, Cordfon's dad even came up and, uh, you know, pretty much gave them the okay to carry the battery torch. And if you listen to early Watain records, this album's influence cannot be hidden. It's I mean, there's so many bands I could name that just take a page out of Bathory's book, but nobody really sounds like Corthon. Like, this amazing vocal delivery, it still holds up today. And in my opinion, if this was to drop tomorrow, this would be the talk of the underground, seriously. And as much as I love the self-titled, Under the Sign of the Black Mark, Blood, Fire, Death, etc., this is just, the more and more I get older and listen to it, the more and more I love the return. Like, don't get me wrong, Under the Sign of the Black Mark is the fucking shit, and so is Blood, Fire, Death, so is the self-titled. It's just, I feel like everything after that is kind of mediocre, which is a bummer. I, I kind of like Hammerheart a little bit, but nothing really compares to Bathory, The Return. It's just one of those records, so influential, so evil, and I wish I could take all this out for you guys, it's just I'm legit worried about messing up the uh, record pack. I'll sneak this out real quick, but yeah, sick. Again, some people would be like, this is straight up blasphemy, no pun intended, but the music plays. This was a gift. I am not fucking complaining. I am beyond stoked, actually. Gotta be careful. But produced by Corthon and Boss. Recorded and mixed by Boss at Electra Studios, Stockholm, Sweden. Front album cover photo by Gunnar Sl Salinas. I never knew that. So there we go. And Bathory raised their blood-filled cups and a very special thank you to a nice big list. And they even thank the Corpse Grinder. Not George Fisher, but still, that's pretty cool. And I really do wish I, I could show you more of this. I just really need to be careful with it, as you can see. But, hey, the record plays and that's all that fucking matters. So fucking good, so evil, so influential. If you have not heard it, Bath 3 The Return, get into it. This is an original Combat Records version. This has been reissued a ton of times. One day I'll grab the reissue, but there's something about listening to this and knowing that it's a first press and like, just like I said that, you know, people back in 1985 weren't really, you know, like doing this style of music as much as you would think so but the ones that were doing it you know definitely took a page out of Bathory's book and without Bathory you probably would not even have the second wave of Scandinavian black metal it's just so fucking important and so goddamn good but we've been blasting some blasphemy fallen angel of doom Ross Bay cold eternal Great stuff here, super evil, bestial, war, black death awesomeness from Vancouver. And yeah, as always, thanks for watching, you guys fucking rule. Hells! <coughs> Rest in peace, Cordthon.